first, we'll do the shortcut formula for two successive discounts. Let the two successive discounts be A% percent and B%. Percent. So the total discount will be A plus B minus AB by 100. So the two discounts A and B are A plus B minus AB by 100. We'll use this formula and we'll be able to find the total discount. Let's do an exercise. In a store, the successive discounts offered on a bag are 10% and 20%. The store price of bag is $500. Then calculate the selling price of the bag. So there are two successive discounts that is 10% and 20%. We cannot add both the discounts and can calculate the discount percent using the bag. So for that, we have to use the formula. When we have the two successive discounts, we have already done the formula for that. And the store price is the marked price. Okay, let's start. The successive discounts are 10% and 20%. To find the total discount, we have the formula A plus B minus AB by 100, where A is 10% and B is 20%. Because the two discounts are 10 and 20%. So let's put the value. So in place of A, we'll be writing 10. In place of B, write down 20. AB means A multiply B, that is 10 multiply 20. Now let's solve this. First, we'll do the addition and side by side multiplication. Yeah, first we do the multiplication then addition. So you can do either way. So 20 plus 10 is 30 minus 200. 10 twos are uh, 10 twenties are 200 by 100. So now we can do the cutting of this fraction at least. So cancel the zeros. Two zeros cancel with this zero. Two by one means two only. So it's 30 minus two. That is 28 percent. So the total discount will get is 28 percent. So this is in percentage. Let's find out the discount in dollars. So for that discount will be 28 percent of 500 dollars because we are finding the discount on 500 dollars. So let's calculate this 28 percent. Remove the percentage symbol. Write 100 in the denominator. 28 by 100 in place of off. Write multiply. 500. Let's do the cutting. 0 cancels with 0. So we are left with 28 multiply 5. That is $140. So the discount will be $140. Now we have to find the selling price. So for the selling price, we have already done the formula. Marked price minus discount. Marked price is the store price. That is $500 minus $140. And you will get your answer. That will be your selling price. Let's do the another question. In a mall, the successive discounts offered on a watch are 30%, 10%, and 5% find the total successive discount. In this case, we have the three successive discounts. And we can use that formula to find the three successive discounts as well. So you just need to remember that formula. That is A plus B minus AB by 100. We'll be using that formula for this question too. So we have the successive discounts that is 30%, 10%, and 5%. The formula for total discount is A plus B minus AB by 100. Now, first we'll calculate the discount for the for two successive discounts. So total discount due to 30% and 10%. First, we'll using these two. This is A, this is B. Put the values that is 30 plus 10 minus 30 multiplied 10 by 100. So we'll using the 30% and 10% first. Okay, let's calculate this. 30 plus 10, that is 40, minus 300. 30 tens are 300 by 100. Do the cutting, zero cancels with zero. We are left with three by one, that is 40 minus three, 37%. So the total discount for 30% and 10% will be 37%. Now we have the discount for these two. Now we'll find the overall discount Due to 37% and 5%, we'll be using this percent for calculating the discount further. Formula will be exactly the same. We have 37% and 5%. The formula is A plus B minus AB by 100. So in place of A, we'll be writing 37. In place of B, we'll be writing 5. So 37 plus 5 minus 37 multiply 5 by 100. Let's calculate 37 plus 5, 42 minus 37 multiply 5. 
185 by 100. Now, in play, instead of doing the cutting, I'll be solving it for 2 minus. Uh, this, I'll put the decimal here. This will be 1.85. So, 42 minus 1.85, that will be 40.15% or 40.15%. So, therefore, the total successive discount is 40.15%. So, we have done the total successive discount using the three successive discounts.